Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to take a screenshot on your Chromebook or how to record a screen on your Chromebook. If this is your first time or a repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If uh, that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in Chromebook videos, there will be links in the description box below. So I have made a video in the past uh, mentioning how to take a screenshot on your Chromebook using the old method and to this date this video has about uh, and this one is at 161 as of this recording but what happened uh, Chromebook uh, or Google came up with uh, new updates uh, and which you know would change a little bit how to take a screenshot or record a screen on your Chromebook. Now the old method still works uh, but I'm just going to you know talk about the new way and easy way you can do that so let's start how to take a screenshot or record a screen using the new method and here I have the instructions right here so this is uh, from Chrome OS 89 updates and you should have it on your uh, Chromebook already which I'm going to show you right now so the basically uh, what you have to do is that uh, you have to go to the time where it shows on your lower right corner and if you click on it then you're going to see the screen capture menu or box and then you have to just click on that which I'll show you very shortly the other way you can access that is that you know you can uh, use the shortcut which is going to be control alt plus overview button and then it will take you to the same uh, option or the same menu to uh, capture your screen so let's start so if you click on the lower right corner where you see the time and then you're going to see a kind of like you know cube box which is right here or a square box so if you just click on it then you're going to see a feature or a menu or a tool to you know record your screen or capture your screen or take a picture of your screen now let me just you know close this one you can come to the same point just by hitting the control alt and overview so basically these three screen uh, buttons so control is going to be right here alt is right here and overview button is right here uh, so if you just you know hit this this and this then you can see that you know it's taking to the same uh, tool now if you're doing this uh, for the first time or if you'd like to record your like you know uh, audio then you have to go to the uh, wheel button or settings and then you can just you know uh, drag the record slider or microphone slider to the right and that will uh, you know give Chromebook access to record your audio but if you don't want to record your audio then you can just leave it to the left okay so now we have that you're going to see that uh, there are two options here one is a camera and one is a video camera so basically the camera gives you the option to take a picture or screenshot of your screen and the video gives you the option to record your screen now you're going to see uh, three more different buttons right here so if you click on, click on them then it's going to give you different options so for example the first one if you click on it then you can see it's kind of the whole thing got highlighted and it's it's mentioning you here that click anywhere to capture full screen so basically if you just like you know tap here then it's going to capture the full screen so let's do that so tap here and you see the full screen is captured and here you're going getting a message that the screenshot was taken show in folder and if you just click on show in folder then it's going to you know take you to the folder or you can just like you know uh, click here later on and then it's going to take you to the folder and here you're going to see your screenshot so that's one way now let's just go back to the screenshot menu or tool again now the second one uh, if you click on here then it's telling you that you know drag to select an area to capture so what it means that this is just a partial um, screenshot so if you just like you know uh, click here and drag then you can choose what you want so for example let's click and drag and then it's just going to you know capture this part and you hit on capture and then you can see that you know you're getting the same uh, message on here and if you just like you know click here then here it's you know save that 
uh, screenshot you just took so let me just X that and let's go back to the screenshot again and here we have uh, this button okay let me just get rid of the highlighted part which I chose before so okay now is gone now you, you see that there's another kind of small box which is the third option so if you click here this gives you to record or capture a, an active screen so basically if you have like you know uh, more than one screen then it's, you can just choose which screen you want to take a screenshot of but right now I have only one screen open so you don't see any difference but this is basically for when you have many screen and you just like to choose what screen shot then you can use that one so this is the screen uh, capture or screenshot uh, for picture or uh, you know uh, for not for video now let's move to the camera icon so if you click on the camera here and basically everything is the same except instead of taking the screenshot it's just recording your screen so we're just going to try one so for example right here now it's telling you click anywhere to start full screen so just click anywhere now you can see that you know you're getting kind of like you know three two one zero now you are recording your screen and if you take a look here then you are going to see that there's a small red button so that means that you know it is recording the screen and if you'd like to stop that then just click on it and then you can see that you know it shows that uh, it has uh, stopped recording and saved it and it's going to put you on your folder now something to show you that the screen recording is saved as webm video file uh, if you take a look at right here this is not like uh, mp4 or any other format this is webm and this is kind of google's own version of uh, video file and it should work anywhere uh, you know if you just click on it, it it should be able to use it anywhere you need but somehow for some reason if you'd like to convert it to mp4 or anything then you can also do that uh, just you have to use an online tool so we'll just take a quick look here and see if really it worked and so you can see that you know this is actually the video recording of the screen and if I click on here so you can hear my voice so it's just like you know recording what I was telling before and it just like you know recorded what I captured before so we'll just X that and let's go back here again so basically this is the new way you can record a screen uh, or you know uh, capture screen using Chromebook and again this is from Chrome OS 89 updates uh, but still the old method works which would be control plus you know uh, overview window button which is right here this one uh, in the past it used to be called show windows and also you can do like in you know, a control shift and overview button if you'd like to do the old way but uh, if you'd like to do the new way then you can just follow this instruction so again time uh, click on time then go to screen capture uh, in a box and or also you can just control alt plus overview and then capture or record and it's saved as web m video file but it's just same like kind of mp4 file and it just say you can use that to uh, do anything you need to do for your uh, screen recording so that's all for today uh, thank you for watching this video uh, there will be more chromebook videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you